She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Vega. Vega. And this is not about soulmates. More to explore. Just about to leave our spot in Frog Hall, and the weather's not too good. It's having a bit of a rain, but I've recorded my radio show and post that up on Mixcloud. Signal's not brilliant here though, and uh, we're just going to take off, go up the couple of miles to Consul, and try and moor up there. See how we go. Ah, it's a lovely spot down the Calder, though. Can't complain. Right, push us out, Ali. Let's get going. <coughs> yeah, I'll take it off in a sec. Let's reach over and get it. Oh, and there we go. Oh, yes. Get that all sorted out. Then we can get on our way. Ready there? Stay there, Zeke. Yes, so I've even got my woolly hat. Giving that a bit of a run out. It's a bit cool today. And we're just leaving Frog Hall, as I say. Heading to Consul and hopefully we'll... Pardon? Oh, wait a second, just give you a quick view of Ali. Uh, yeah, does she look like Kermie? Kimmy, 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 Kimmy! I'm not being Miss Piggy there, by the way. Hey, Peter. Well, a lot of people have... Big party of walkers have just walked past me and congratulated me on my patience in dealing with front seat drivers. It's not back seat drivers like in a car. Front seat drivers, yeah, you get that master of the disapproving look when you go through these little tiny cut-ins. You're doing the best you can. What more can you do? I didn't say who that was, but they asked me how far, and I said, yeah, just enough room between us, one end to the other, 58 foot. And I'm only kidding. But the guidance is always helpful, as long as it's not served with a massive look of, ah, horror! Oh, it's got a bit of a downpour there, but it wasn't from the rain. It was from the water on the tree. Just like this, you see. Whoa. Well, you can see how narrow this is. Definitely a bit sharp. Well, somebody would have to do a bit of reversing. Definitely, look. There's that side. I'll show the other side. Not much room to manoeuvre there. I think I said yesterday. What, a kayak maybe you might be able to squeeze between? But nothing else. But anyway, hopefully we don't have to worry about that. Just keep tootling along. See how we go. Beautiful avenue of trees here, though. You can probably see another narrow part of the canal coming up. I think, I'm not sure if these little inlet things, spaces are for try and pass. Maybe they are every now and again, but they're not really a full section, they're like angled. I don't know. 
if you know more than me, which you probably do, answers on a postcard. Oh no, we don't do that anymore. Answers below on YouTube with a comment. That'd be good. We'll keep over. Ali's looking anxiously, thinking the paintwork's going to be done. Well, you got to squeeze it through whatever you can do, haven't you? No point hitting a rock and saving the paintwork. So let's just keep moving along here. Well, this is the sort of corner you get. You can't see until you sort of get into it where you're going. But once you're there, you, know, you can see this a little bit wider here. So if somebody did have to reverse, you could probably pass somebody. Oh, everything's going autumnal and dying back. It's that time of the year. I love the autumn colours though. Autumnal. Autumnal. Yeah, I was just saying to Ali that it's a little bit shallower in places, of course. I think the Colden's known for being shallow. You've just got a different tone on the engine. I commented on the way through here, a bit like the nave, is it, in a church? Yeah, definitely. That shape. Hey there, Ziggy. Do you have a look behind? Yeah, there it is. And sometimes you think Pete's got the boat at a bit of a strange angle. It's not because I'm totally terrible at being on the tiller. It's because I'm just trying to get a better shot for you on video by keeping the boat to one side and then getting the shot through there like this now so I'm going to move it off to the right so we can get a better shot down the canal and then bring it back in yes as you can see the Colden Canal behind us Pete with his Sherpa cap on Perhaps it's not really Sherpa style weather, but just in case, keep that head warm. You can see like to the left of me here, there's one of those overflows. Magnificent tree ahead of us, isn't there? Look at that. Wow. Liking the look of that. Or oh, can hear my engine changing tune a little bit. Getting a bit shallow here. Yes. Just slow it down around this corner. And I'll give you a full on of the leaves. Look at that. As you can see, it's a pretty high ledge on one side the mountain or not really a mountain peak it's a hill but yeah look at that ridge just goes all along and it's up this side but not as high as you can see
Bridge 53, if it's any help for you. Well, it would be if it was Bridge 53, but it's fit Bridge 52. Bit of a plant just growing over the two. Private mooring, keep out. There it is. Look at that ridge of rock covered in lichen or sphagnum moss. coming up, if I remember rightly. Probably canal side property. Yes, Ali, just give me the look and show me the windlass. There is a lock. My brain actually is working today. And yeah, there's the gauge, of course, that you check out whether you can get under the tunnel. Right, better let Ali off and go from there. Lock gates took a little bit of uh, opening. Ali eventually managed to open the uh, left one and then the other one creaked open with a lot of pushing and pulling. Here we go. Margin for error here with these ones, as you can see. Especially if you're trying to look at the gauge to see how you're going to fit into the tunnel. I think this is about to give me my hair wash of the day. Uh, can't really see what's going on. All I know is. Uh, yeah, bit wet, bit wet there. And we got the leaky locks, as you can see. Yeah, I could tell you were struggling. It must have given it full, full on. Well, let's time this one. Ali's just opening the paddles or the front gates. See how we go, time-wise. Let's keep towards the back. Save that sill. Just uh, give me the thumbs up. Yes, carry on, Ali. Going good. Just trying to push me forward now. You just feel that, so just a little bit of reverse just to keep it against the back lock gates. Another thumbs up from Ali, do I want her to carry on and open those paddles fully? Yep, we can go for that. Slowly but surely. So far, we've been going one minute 24, 25. Yep, yeah. up we come. Oh, 
up we go. Nice and steady. Is Ali coming over to consult with me? Yep, it's opening. So yeah, just over, just under four and a half minutes to fill the lock. And that was sensibly, not opening them all at once where you get banged about. Right, onwards and upwards. So yeah, flint mill lock there. It's the one with the gauge, remember, when you're going down to check whether you can go under the frog hole tunnel. There's the sign. Ali informs you that's Consul Pottery we've just gone past. We are heading on to Consul. We won't be getting the train, of course. Well, not today or tomorrow, because I don't think it runs, apart from the weekends at this time of year. But we're hoping to get on board. We love going on a steam engine. Can't wait to go to Langothan, actually, and get on that steam engine. They even have a, a beer tasting uh, day, I reckon. Give that a go. No problem. Yes, right next to the railway, a console. And I'm sure you can see the signal box etc all ahead of us guess that heads to the river Train buffs out there. Give you a little bit of a good view of the various buildings at Consul Train Station. All well kept. Looking very nice. Let's slow down and make the most of it, shall we? Here we've got the cantilevered waiting area and shelter. Not often you get to see a station from this angle, is it? So I should imagine you have to use that quite a bit. The old shelter. Ali's, oh, look at that. She made it. She's going ahead to have a look. If there's any moorings that we can pull up at. Ziggy gonna go? I don't know. You going Ziggy? No, you can't go really. Oh well, he's put the hand up. Wait. Well, in the words of that 70s, is it? Or 80s group? This is tight fit. So we're just edging our way through. Bit of an angle to get to it. And you can't get much because it's pretty shallow. So we're just trotting along. Ali's disappeared, so not sure where she's gone. We're just trying to tuck our way under the bridge. There's enough room to get the chimney through, hopefully. Solar panel through successful chimney through successful 
Well, here we are coming up to this called the Black Lion at Consul Forge, and we'll be able to moor up for the night. Just waiting for Pete to come under this low bridge. Well, it wasn't long before we moored up here on the left where Ali is, opposite the Black Lion. And then we went for a little walk just over the bridge to have a look at the water and waterfalls where the river parted company with the Colden Canal. Yeah, and it was an amazing sight actually, as you can see. So, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please click the subscribe button on the screen. And if you'd like to know when the next vlog's out, please click the bell icon. We do appreciate everybody who subscribes and watches our vlog. So, until next time, have a good one.